Well, in line with what's happening in the markets, you know, I have a few stocks that are moving lower. Uh, India Cements, well, that one's moved to the low point of the day. After the big, big run, keep in mind, it's had a big run, and now there's some money getting taken off the table, so keep that uh, in mind. Ambuja Cements as well, from the high point of the day, has come off considerably. And uh, Heidelberg Cement is now at around 217 rupees odd. It was locked in upper circuit with a gain of close to around 20%. From 233, it's down to around 217, so keep an eye out on a few of these stocks. But before we wind down, Mayuresh, I wanted to ask you about granules. Are they selling or not? Well, the promoters say no. Some part of the street says yes. But the stock today particularly has come in for a hard knock. Any view on that name? After all, Nigel, no, no specific view. I think it's uh, biased and it's based on a lot of news items that is probably moving around it. Uh, but again, I think within this space, uh, the large cap name, like we discussed uh, a week back as well, I think supply is still something that we'll continue to like. Uh, Yes, I think repeat observations seen at its Goa plant, but we still believe that the product portfolio that they probably have, the complex inhaler, and the time launches that they probably got for the same, along with peptides, which is a good high margin business for the company as well. And I think successful resolution in terms of these three repeat observations should augur well in terms of uh, both margin expansion that can probably happen, that has been lag last, uh, lagging over the last few quarters, and expansion in terms of earnings as well. Uh, so no specific on granules. But supply as a global view is something that we like. Okay. Uh, lastly, uh, Mayuresh, are you buying this dip in Canfin Homes? No, not really. Anuj, not at this point. Okay. Any other stock that you like in this space? So within the uh, NBFCs, AU Small Finance Bank is something that we like. Uh, I think it perfectly fits the cancelling parameters and the union methodology as well. Mm. Strong AUM growth, you've probably seen uh, GNP as NP has come down to 1.96, 0.56 as well. Strong addition in terms of the uh, CASA ratio, because if you probably look at uh, the TD ratio along with the CD ratio at 39% and 89% as well, that augurs really well from a balance sheet perspective and very, very strong return ratios, 1.5% ROAs and 14% uh, uh, ROEs. So I think uh, okay. something from the product. Mayuresh, thanks a lot. We will uh, let you go on that note today. Thanks a lot uh, for joining us. Uh, let's start. Uh